Well, every FA Cup game needs a hero. Two-goal hero, Matty Fryer. Uh, talk us through that, Matty. It's a hard cup tie. What we expected, obviously, from Southend. They've been going well in the league, and it was obviously football. There's just inches in it. Was their strike just before we scored the first was well centimetres away from going in, and yeah, they gave us a really tough game, and we expected nothing less. And it was so close, and fortunately, uh, we came out victorious. The difference has been your two goals. Um, give us a perspective on those from your point of view. The first one, it just got laid into my path and I've taken it wide and I've created the angle and hit across the keeper and it's gone in. And the second one, I think their centre-back's a little bit tired. I've gone past him and just smashed it and it's gone in nicely. Did at any point in the afternoon you think it's not going to be your afternoon as a team? Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you're out there and you're playing, so you don't think, oh, maybe if they score or if we score or whatever. But we knew it was in the game the whole way, right till the end before, obviously, the second goal killed it off. But no, throughout the game, it was there was nothing in it, really. And like I said, that, that strike that hit the crossbar was so unlucky for them. And that was probably the turning point because we went down the other end and scored. But throughout the whole game, they were, I thought they played really well. Is this you back to your best now or is there still a bit to go, do you feel? No, just obviously uh, delighted to get the opportunity to play today and fortunately I scored two goals and I've been feeling good in training and the manager's brought me on obviously uh, in a few premiership appearances from the bench and keep on getting my head down and yeah, see what goes on. He spent a lot of money though on strikers, he's brought in Long and Jelovic couldn't play today, they're available from sort of now on in, how do you view that from your point of view? Well, they'll play, won't they? So uh, <laughs> I just get my head down, and I was delighted, like I say, to get the chance today. It's been a been a while since I've started a game and completed a 90 minutes, and I felt good out there. Whether uh, I scored two goals or not today, obviously that gets the headlines. But I felt my general game that I played well and felt good out there. People are intrigued. Fans are intrigued by your situation. You're out of contract. You're back. You're, you're scoring goals. What do you want to happen? Because other people will want you in their side, maybe. Um, other teams might want to sign you, but you've got a chance to play Premier League football, maybe. How do you see it? Like I say, I'll just, just get on with it. I've been doing well in training. I know you don't see these things and everything, but I've been getting my head down, training well, and I like to think when I've come on, I've, I've tried to give it my best and try and do as well as what I can do. And like I say, I was, I was glad to get the 90 minutes today and, and do well. The other side of the coin, or the other big bonuses, there's, you know, last 16 of the FA Cup, Wembley's not that far away, is it? Yeah, and I don't mean geographically. Yeah, we've just beat South End, so <laughs> there's a long way to go. And Yeah, but you're last 16, aren't you? There's Wembley semi-finals, and as a Premier League club, you must fancy your chances, don't you? Yeah, we've obviously got a good squad, um, and yeah, we're through to the next round, so we'll see what the draw brings, and yeah, obviously it's a step closer.